Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to jump right into this video because I'm super excited to show some of my favorite ways I organize some of my most used supplies. So I did a full craft room tour and I'll be sure to link that below if you want to check it out. But I'm going to talk about some of these things a little bit more in detail with you. So the first up is how I store my most um, common inks, I guess not most common, but like the, the sets I have. So I have Distress Oxide and I have Catherine Puller. I have used this cassette tape holder from Amazon uh, for the last few years. Now they're retailing right now about $40 each, but if you compare that to like a quote unquote crafting stamping or ink storage unit, that's like a third of the price. So for me, it was well worth it. Bought them in the regular wood color and then spray painted them white and I've affixed them to the wall. So I love them there. I think they're great. They're one of my faves. All right, let's talk about this next one here. This is a Dollar Tree item. So right now it would probably retail for $125, but I'm going to use it to store all of my adhesive rolls. So I have these excess adhesive rolls and I'm just going to pile them on top of each other and it keeps them nice in one place. They're not rolling all over my desk. And this was a super, super cheap way to get this done. So that's one of the, uh, one of the storage ways I love. And of course, because it's super inexpensive. All right, let's move into the next one. This is going to be something you probably have seen me talk about multiple times, but it's worth mentioning in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen this. This is probably, if I was going in order, this would be my number one favorite way I store something, <laughs> and that is my stencils. They are perfect in this little binder. Find yourself a binder that fits the size of the stencils you have, get some page protectors, and then I actually even keep my original packaging from, not packaging, but like the insert for that stencil so it has it labeled and it fits wonderfully. All right, let's talk about how I store my pops of color. You might have enamel dots or I'm not sure which brand you use. I have a bunch of the pops of color from scrapbook.com, hands down my favorite. Now I have tried multiple ways to store these and they even have um, little plastic, clear plastic containers that you can store them upside down in, if you may have seen those from some of the craft channels. But I really just couldn't get used to doing them in that way, so I opted for this. I'll link this below, or you can find something at like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I found this also. It's like a tiered tray, probably for anything really, but maybe nail polish or something like that. And I find it so much easier to access my pops of color when they're right out in front of me and I don't have to go searching for them. And here's kind of what I was talking about. On the right hand side, you see those uh, places where I have my ink. Uh, dauber uh, blending tools but um, I'm, let me talk to you a little bit about what I have in here so this is all from the Dollar Tree these are just compartmentalized little plastic containers and it keeps my drawers really nice and organized and then right here this is what I was talking about where you can put your pops of color in upside down and you could store them that way which I think is a great way it's just that I have so many it's so much easier for them to be out in the open so really the takeaway for me is just you really want to make whatever you are using, make it functional, make it easy to access. Uh, this way you're not kind of getting stumped up. You know, that's, I find that my creativity really gets a hit when I have to go searching for stuff or it's just too much trouble to use. Let's talk cardstock storage. So this was a very popular question I got from my video of my craft room tour. Find a unit where you can put have the ability to put labels in there so you can label out your cardstock. So what I have here is these are already pre-made, you know, pre-cut from scrapbook.com, but that's something you can easily easily do. Um, but then I labeled them which kind of cardstock I'm using. And then I have this other uh, back area here that's open for larger pieces of cardstock. So just some place where you can kind of keep your pre-cut pieces together and labeled. That's really the best way to do that in my opinion. Now this one I'm kind of soliciting a little bit of help. This is how I store my Ohuhu markers. I love this unit. This is multiple units actually. This You can't buy this all at once. You have to buy them in sections. And I think it's a fantastic way to store my markers. It's kind of out of the way. It's organized. I really do love it. 
But I was curious if you'll put in the comments down below how you store your alcohol markers because I don't think this is the cheapest option and I would really love to be able to help, you know, provide that to others as well. So read the comments down below and also comment if you have a cheaper way to store your alcohol markers. That would be super helpful. Now here's something I picked up at the thrift store. This is a magazine holder. So you'll see these, you know, shop your thrift stores, shop your discount pieces uh, when you're out and about at your home goods. Uh, because this magazine, I guess that's what it is, like a magazine rack, this is where I put all of my stuff for my die cutting machines. And it sits right off to the side, it's out of the way, and I love it. And it's got two sections in there, so I kind of keep it compartmentalized. But that is like one of my favorite finds. I think it was like $2. And the next thing I wanted to show you is how I store my pencils. So I have the Prismacolor colored pencils here, and this container here I got from Amazon, and it's pretty large, um, but the pockets for where you put the markers, you can fit a full-size marker in there, or you can put three colored pencils in there. So it's not just for colored pencils, and I like the versatility of that because um, if it was just for colored pencils, you wouldn't be able to use any markers in there. So it's kind of nice that you can kind of flip flop. Let's talk about storage again for how I store uh, something in a binder. So grab up a big binder. Uh, this is a nine by 12. And I have some page protectors in there, and this is how I store a lot of my swatches. So I wanted to talk to you about, real quick, my Catherine Puller swatches. What I started to do was stamp out the image in the color, and then that dot by it means I have the re-inker. So now I, when I'm resupplying my things online, I can just shop very easily and know what I have. I also even swatched out my <laughs> my pops of color. I have some more in stock. I have to update that. but So I keep all of that in a binder. And then the last thing I wanted to show, which is also something that got rave reviews in a previous video, is how I store alphabet dies, or the die cuts, rather. And this is, these containers are ink dauber holders, um, but you can just find anything that gives you the ability to keep things in compartments or in categories. And so I have each... Uh, letter designated to one little square in there and I can use fairly large die cuts my very small ones it doesn't matter they're all just the same letter or number and it keeps them all together which is super super helpful when I just want to finish off a sentiment or put something together um, and so that's how I do my dies all right, so I know this video was super quick, but I just wanted to pop in and show you, I think it was 11 of my favorite ways to store some of my favorite items. I will have more coming at you uh, in this category soon. I did a poll recently and I wanted to thank everyone who answered that poll and kind of let me know what are some of the things you wanted to see and this was one of the top of the list. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I shared this with you. I will list everything I used or showed in the video in the description box below if you wanted to check it out as well. And I'll also list the link for my newsletter or my emailing list. I'd love to have you join. It's a great way for me to communicate when I release new videos or if new uh, sales and deals pop up or just really life things. I'd love to have you in that community. If you want to sign up for that, you'll get a free printable download as well when you do that. And I will see you all in the comments down below and in the next video. Bye-bye.